Okay, so let's talk you through DMD displays or dot matrix displays. I've got one in my hands here, and that's what it looks like. It's just a collection of dots that are on display here. Uh, before I go through some more detail on this video, I just want to sort of take you back in time to how pinball machines were originally scored. So at first, they used to have reels going round, which would sort of click round. So in the electromechanical age, that's how they would score. You sort of get the bell sounding as the score sort of ticked round. That then evolved with solid state machines, which is sort of early 80s. We got an example here with 8-Ball Deluxe, where you can see it's like a calculator display. So it's an alph alphanumeric display, um, and it just displays a score on this particular one. Some of those were used to display letters on there as well, and they sort of scroll through the letters to sort of give you uh, a message on screen. They then evolved into dot matrix displays. So the first one was actually done by Data East. It's a game called Checkpoint, which actually had a smaller version of this. That was 1991. And the first machine that actually had a proper full-size DMD display was actually Terminator 2 made by Williams, and that was in 1992. And then that stayed in pinball machines for years uh, until it upgraded to LCD. And I'll take you through LCD displays in a separate video. Let's stick really with dot matrix displays, and we've got um, an example here of a standard dot matrix display in Theatre of Magic. It's just a collection of dots in this display which will have animations, it will give uh, messages to the player in terms of what they're playing, it will give you the score, it will run through high scores like this one is running through there. So a whole host of information is available on the screen to you there. And I say that's been like that for years. You'll see uh, Circus Voltaire we've got next to it here. It's got uh, an evolution of the DMD uh, where it was always in the, in, the, in the back box, but on Circus Voltaire, which was 1997, um, they then moved it to being above the play field. And the idea really here was a couple of things. It enabled them to put um, a, a, a mechanism in the back box that was part of the game, which fired a, a ball out of the cannon up there, but also got it closer to the play field so that the player didn't have to raise their eyes quite as far off the play field to be able to read the score. This particular machine that you can see here has actually got an upgraded display in it. It's got a colour uh, display in there. It's actually one of the first colour DMDs that came out. As you can see, it's got, a, again, it's used a system of dots, but in different colours on that display. That has evolved since then to much better LCD versions of colour displays that you can buy as an aftermarket upgrade for your pinball machine. You can sort of fit those in there um, if you wanted to upgrade your displays to colour. And, you know, some, some pinball collectors once they've got one machine with a colour DMD in it, they kind of need to change all their machines and they can actually run into quite a bit of money. But they do look really cool. The animations there are really good. And I think they're covering now sort of 60, maybe 70 machines or 70 different games have all got software that's been set to run on colour DMD displays. So just talk about the evolution from DMD then and just quickly look at LCDs for you. So we'll move into the other room. Just to show you the evolution. So. When we look at the Williams ones, you'll have noticed that they were quite orangey. The Stern ones went to being more red in colour um, at the end of the DMD age. And then they moved on to LCD. We've got Guardians of the Galaxy here, which is the latest pin at the time of us filming this, uh, that's come out with a, an LCD display in the back box here. Um, the first machine they actually did with an LCD display was actually Batman 66. So um, I'll talk about LCD displays uh, in another video. So check that out if you're interested in where they appear in different pinball machines.